So at PlayStation Experience the other day, there was this big trailer for Final Fantasy VII's remake. And um, as you all know, I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy VII uh, and Final Fantasy in general. <laughs> so I was very much excited for that. And there was a lot of speculation and stuff going on about the game, uh, what it was going to be like, and uh, we got some new information uh, this morning, which initially I was very much against and skeptical about, and in the middle of a Twitter rant about it, I realized I'm actually very much okay with it. Um, so from Final Fantasy VII, the remake, um, it's going to be episodic, or in uh, Nomura and Kitata's terms, multi-part. Uh, what exactly that entails in terms of how many parts, we don't know. But, um, here's the thing, the reason I was worried about hearing that is that, you know, I've seen Sin episodes, I've seen Half-Life episodes. I've seen a major publisher trying to do an episodic game with a big name and failing miserably. Um, or there not being any cohesive structure between episodes like uh, Sonic 4. Um, and that worried me because having that applied to Final Fantasy 7 would hurt the game a lot. Because it's, it's such an important game. But... That's also why an episodic structure is a good idea. Now, look at Square Enix, um, or actually JRPGs or RPGs in general. Um, for the more linear story-based RPGs, like Final Fantasy has always been, um, we have very much cut down what we expect from them these days, for better or worse. Um, the amount of content in Final Fantasy VII, or eight or nine, is like beyond comprehension in a way. Uh, the only like, uh, I mean, yeah, it, it's it's not uh, Dragon Quest VII levels of content, but Dragon Quest VII's remake was also not a trip like big mega budget on the best consoles currently with the best graphics currently kind of thing either and it's also actually stripping out a lot of content Final Fantasy 7 does not need stripping out of content and that's where we're going with this if we, we years ago we knew that um, Yoichi Wada and Kitase uh, had said no to a Final Fantasy 7 remake because uh, the amount of work that would have to go into it unless they wanted to cut content would basically make it impossible to fund or develop within re within a reasonable time, and a lot of people called bullshit on that. But you know that's not that unthinkable, because um, think what you want of the final game. Look at the development of Final Fantasy Thirteen. Final Fantasy Thirteen was stripped of so much content during its like what six year development. Um, that they were able to make sequels out of cut content. And that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about them having to cut out so much to make it a, a, a release in the first place that the game we get might just feel like a stripped down, like, pointless little thing. And the other option, which is, you know, work on all of it, take all the money you can, and just work on it and make it a full release, well, we've seen that as well. It's called Versus 13. It also happened. It ends with you working for a decade and not being able to release it. And when you are releasing it with 15, it's it's a completely different game. Because you had to, once again, cut out all the content and rebuild it from scratch to make it work. And <laughs> they can't do that to Final Fantasy VII. They know they can't do it to Final Fantasy VII. Instead, what they're doing is they're... Uh, putting it into, into segments and expanding those segments and that's a pretty cool idea like we don't know how many parts there will be but let's 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 do a little thought experiment here let's assume that uh, w each disc is an episode so um, that that's three episodes in total 
on that on that one f first episode, the first disc. Sorry, I'm looking. I'm, I keep not looking into the camera. I'm not. I'm not used to being on camera. I haven't been been on camera for a while. Um, on that first disc, we um, we're in Midgar. We explore Midgar. We do things in Midgar. We leave Midgar. We go through plenty of other areas. Uh, we ride chocobos. So we, we we explore. We ride chocobos. We meet all the characters. We learn. A ton of backstory, including playable flashbacks. Uh, we have mini games of all kinds that you get to play. A bunch of side quests and side stories. Um, and of course, we get to fully learn the combat system, play around with materia, and see what we like and dislike. And of course, it's also the big ending thing, which. Normally, it's the kind of thing I will I would just mention because it's it's so old now. It's not a spoiler, but there will be newcomers to the Final Fantasy remake, so I'll be quiet. And the amount of content in there in the original Final Fantasy VII takes you. It takes about twenty hours or more. It's that dense with content. It's that lengthy, and. If they're going to expand that, which they are, we have seen that they are expanding it in the trailer, um, it will get even longer. And we're not living, like we're living in a, um, in a world where people are explicitly stating, I don't have time to play 60 hour RPGs anymore. Well, n well, no, you don't. And now you don't have to, because they'll be releasing them in parts so you can actually take your time, play Final Fantasy VII, go do your other games, return to part two, go do your games to turn number three. And I think that's a really solid idea. And I think um, Square Enix doing it out of like any company is the right thing. And I'm sorry, that's my monitor dying. I'm gonna just move the mouse real quick. Um, but yeah, so, because think about it. People think, oh, well, no, because they made um, so many mistakes last generation with Final Fantasy and other games. And, yeah, they did. And they also explicitly was the, were the company who learned from those mistakes. Um, look, uh, I forget the new president of Square Enix's name, but he's been doing some great work since then. And, uh, and uh, if I want any company to try and tackle... Uh, remaking Final Fantasy VII in an episode structure, it's the company that have tried to cut content and see what happens. That have tried to keep all the content in one release and see what happens. Like, we've lived through Final Fantasy XIII and Versus XIII and, like, it doesn't matter what you think of XIII as a game, if you like it or hate it. It was damaging to the company. It was damaging to the brand. Um, as was XIV, that's uh, for different reasons, but they all—they already—they already proved they they learned from fourteen with fourteen and Reborn. They fixed that up. They did an amazing job with it, and in fifteen, honestly, it's looking really fucking good. Um, it's not versus thirteen anymore, and that's good. Versus thirteen is the game you don't want, uh, production-wise. It's a, it's a game with an impossible scope. And uh, that never can be finished, and that's what would have. That's what Final Fantasy VII remake would have been probably, had it just been a single release. It would have been a game that, if it ever saw release, well, no, it wouldn't. Because here's what would happen: it would be delayed and delayed and delayed, and then the PlayStation Five is out, and then Square Enix was like, "Well, I guess we gotta make it PlayStation Five now because we want it on the latest hardware." Because no one's going to buy a old PS4 game. And then you either get a cut down game with basically rebuilt to be a possible release within the next generation, Final Fantasy XV, or you don't get it at all, versus fifteen. And it's probably for the best. Now what's worrying about this and what's bad about this is what could go wrong with the release structure. Because if they're releasing Final Fantasy VII Remake 
as where I can mention three parts. And let's say, I don't know, I don't know, I, I'm not good at pricing, but let's say, um, $25 each part, $30 each part. So, more, so all three will cost more than one standard retail game if you buy them all at launch. Because they, they will. They will. And uh, no, that's not that's not good. But unfortunately, that is the game industry at large. Uh, it's not really Final Fantasy's fault. It's the entire industry's fault. So, you know. Then, then you know what? I But you know what? Like, free releases like that way? Yeah. I can get behind it. If they're going to do like... Oh, no, we're going to do... Uh, uh, one episode for um, um, until you meet Aerith, and then we're going to do one episode until you go to um, uh, Don Conero, and then we're going to do make one episode until you leave Midgar. Like no, 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 no. If that's what they're doing, which we don't know, but if that's what they're doing, then Final Fantasy VII Remake can go fuck itself. Um, like no. That's not okay. That's not okay in any way at all. Um, but if what they're doing is actually structuring it in a realistic sense to be able to both release the game, which, you know, this means we probably actually will be able to play the game and give input on the good ideas and bad ideas so far in the first part of the remake and see that affected in the second half, which, or second half, second part, which is good. And my cat is making noise. That's not good. But I think that's, in general, a good thing. I think that in the long run, this is the right idea for Final Fantasy VII's remake. Um, I, sh I want to talk quickly about the um, the combat as well. Because people assume there was a real-time action RPG. It's not. And I want to be like, I'm, I'm going to gloat up here a bit. I'm going to be happy and say, I called it. I was tweeting about it um, the same night the trailer came out, and I was like, I don't know if this is action RPG, guys, because I've been looking at the trailer, and I don't know, some things are very strange if this is meant to be an action RPG, and sure enough, we got information on um, the combat system. Um, the menu seen in the trailer is basically the combat system. It's, it's a menu-based system, but it's seamless from, um, from like... Uh, the world, like the the world you're exploring and combat, it's it's one one, uh, like um, mm, Tales of the Hysteria, for example, or Final Fantasy Twelve. Final Fantasy Twelve is a very good example, uh, and while the characters move about very quickly in real time, uh, it's it, they it, they're still technically turn based, and what I mean by that is there's a bar beneath the name. Uh, that every time you do an input, it goes up with white. It fills up with white more and more. If it reaches, if it reaches the top, it goes red. And at that point, you can't do any more inputs. The only stuff we see during the red flash bits are finishing moves like limb, limb breaks. Um, so at that point, you're basically overheated in time. That character's turn is kind of over. So either you manage and you only give like command to cloud, command to Barrett, command to cloud, command to Barrett. Or you like to command to cloud, 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 Barrett, 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 Barrett. And that's pretty cool. It also seems like movement won't actually be anything the player has to care about. That's m most likely done by the, by, by the game itself. Because um, they said uh, they said they don't want it to be like a skill, like, like a player um, skill reactionary or technique system. Like, that's not what it is. It's very much a, a, a strategy command system. And I think that's I think that's great. I think that sounds superb. And it looks really cool, too. So, um... That's cool. So far, I'm liking what I'm hearing about the Final Remake. I'm liking what I'm seeing about the Final Fantasy Remake. And, um... Yeah. That's just my, my two cents on the thing. I've tried to collect my thoughts, but I think they were pretty much... It's more spread out than I thought they were. This is my new camera uh, location because I have I have a new computer. It's in a new spot. My old computer is still in my old corner over there. And I can see my pretty Final Fantasy collection 
with the uh, what do we have here? We have uh, squalls, uh, necklace, and ring, and keyblade, and fun stuff. Yay. Yay. That's another thing, actually. If this works for Final Fantasy VII Remake, this is actually a very viable and realistic way to remake 8 and 9. Just yes, think about that for a second. Think about the possibility of a Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy IX remake. Happy tears! I should look there, not there. 